Cal, you're entering into your fourth week now here at the Biocomplexity Institute. My first question is looking back four or five weeks ago, whenever it may have been that the offer was proposed to you, what was it that attracted you to say, I want to I wanna take this interim executive director job? It was about importance and opportunity, I guess. When I say importance, I mean the importance of the Institute, of BI. Uh, I've known about BI and I've known BI pretty well for quite a while. Uh, I know people who work here. We've had a lot of collaborations in our department and myself personally with, with folks here. So I knew about the potential and the, and the kind of work that went on here. Uh, and so I see it as a place that has that momentum, has you know, contributed in a lot of ways, in really important ways, important scientific questions, important sort of societal impact problems that, that have been worked on here. So I saw that the Institute itself is really important, and it has a great opportunity to continue to do that to build on that. Uh, and then for myself personally, with my role in the computer science department, and even before that in, in the research that I've done, uh, my background is in high performance computing and computational science, a lot of the kind of stuff that happens here. I've worked collaboratively with folks here and other folks on campus on that kind of work. Uh, and so I felt like I was prepared to come in and, and, and sort of understand the issues and help, help guide the institute. And talk a little bit about your background. Computer science, of course, is it. When you talk about research, any particular areas that really intrigue you, or, or what do you bring to the Institute? Yeah, so my research background over almost well, a little over 30 years now has been in what's called high performance computing, parallel computation, computational science, which is sort of algorithms and computing systems to help engineers and scientists solve big problems. It's exactly the kind of work that goes on in this Institute. So uh, I understand and value the kind of work that happens here. Talk about Virginia Tech as a whole, because again, you are also um, at the uh, Department of Computer Science, and you're now here at the Biocomplexity Institute. How long have you been here at Virginia Tech in its entirety, and what brought you here to, to campus in the first place? I've been, uh, this is my 32nd year. Uh, I came to Virginia Tech already in 1987, uh, after completing my uh, graduate degrees at Purdue University. Uh, and so I came in 87, and uh, the work I've done here, as I said, has been very collaborative across a lot of departments, uh, engineering departments, science departments, social science departments even to some extent. And so I, I think I understand a lot about what happens at a place like, uh, like the Institute. So let's veer a little bit off research and your background in that regard. Would you mind sharing some some fun things about yourself, your personal life, family, pets, anything. <laughs> <laughs> sure, absolutely. So my wife Kathy and I have had the privilege of raising three kids. Uh, they're all grown and sort of gone now. The youngest is 21 and they live in other states and they're doing very well. Um, this has been a great community to raise children, obviously. Um, to, you know, I, when I have some time to relax a little bit, I enjoy this area, obviously. It's beautiful. We love to be outside and, and hiking and, and enjoying that part of, uh, of what we have here in the Blacksburg area. Um, I enjoy sports, uh, spectator more at this point than participant. Um, we're heavily involved in a church community that means a lot to us and in the community in general. A lot of friends here in Blacksburg. You know, and veering kind of a little bit back on path, talking about the time that you've been here. I know it's been a short while at the Institute, but again, you've collaborated with people within these four walls for years. Um, what are your thoughts so far about the work you've seen, the people behind the work? I know you've been getting a chance to kind of meet different teams throughout the last few weeks. Absolutely, yeah. So I, what I've found is the things I knew, I think, have been confirmed and, and enhanced. So what I mean by that is um, on the research side, I've had a chance to meet with a wide cross-section of folks doing the research here. The, the sense I get of the passion and the excitement that they have for the work they do, uh, the potential of the work they do, and the, and the impact of the kind of problems they work on, I've really seen that very, very clearly. Uh, but also I've enjoyed getting to know um, the, the support staff and the administrative parts of the Institute. Uh, I, I find that it's a group of people that are very committed and excited about the mission here. They, they feel like they're part of a team. They feel like they want it to succeed. I think they have a real sense of being part of something sort of bigger than just their individual jobs or whatever. And that's, that's very gratifying to see. And team science almost kind of seems like a catchphrase that people just throw around and maybe put up on a resume somewhere or you know, trying to sell themselves to somebody else, a collaborator. But when you hear team science, for you, what, what truly does that mean? 
I, I like that metaphor a lot. Part of it is because I'm a sports fan, and so I really appreciate what teams are about. And so here it obviously means bringing a group of people together, uh, a diverse set of people from different backgrounds, different ways of thinking, different ways of solving problems, different uh, expertise in terms of their discipline or their subdiscipline, obviously. And you, you need that for the kind of big, complex problems that, that BI is trying to address. You can't really address those sorts of problems with kind of single three, four, five people groups. You need a much more diverse set of people. Um, the other thing about team science is it, it attracts people and it takes advantage of folks that enjoy working in a team, that don't need to be the only star all the time. Academia sometimes has folks that want to be by themselves doing amazing things. The groups here tend to enjoy the group wins, so to speak, the, the things that are only possible when a bunch of people come together. Um, and, and one more thing about team science is that it, I think it allows you to be a little more agile. You can reorganize or teams or grow or add expertise in response to an opportunity, in response to a problem that comes along. And, and team science gives you that agility to go after new things that you didn't even know existed, you know, five years ago. Well, and following right in that line of things, you've only been here for three, four weeks, um, and it sounds like a job interview. What is your five-year plan, Cal? But in reality, what are your short-term goals and a kind of larger question, your vision for the, the path that we're about to pay for BI. Absolutely, yeah. So the immediate goal for just weeks and a few months maybe is to get to know people, right? To do a lot of listening, to try to understand where people are at, what they're excited about, what opportunities they see, what possible roadblocks they see. Uh, and then moving forward, it's, a, it's sort of a strategic planning kind of thing to see what areas we want to continue to grow and change and maybe bring in new talent, uh, what opportunities we want to pursue. Um, so that's internally, but I also think I have an opportunity and, and I look forward to helping represent BI externally, repre represent BI to the campus to continue to build collaborations and connections to various parts of the university, many of which already exist, but I think there's a potential for even more of that. Uh, and then also externally off campus to other funding agencies, to other partner universities and, and companies and so on. Um, there's a lot of that happening already, but I think there's great potential to try to build in that area. And there is a lot of excitement all around Virginia Tech about the future of the university as a whole, obviously not just the institute here. Um, talking about Beyond Boundaries, internationally recognized, talking about global land-grant university. Big, big vision. Where do you see BI fitting in all mm. of that? I, I, BI fits in incredibly well with, with all that vision stuff, as we say, <laughs> right? So especially the Beyond Boundaries idea, there's some, there's some key ideas in Beyond Boundaries that I think BI can, can really plug into very easily. That includes the interdisciplinarity of the place, right? Uh, Beyond Boundaries is very much about attacking big global scale problems, extremely complex problems that require new ways of bringing people together, transdisciplinary things, things that you can't do in sort of traditional small units around campus. So BI has been doing that for many, many years and, and is very comfortable in that sort of you know, space. The other thing I would mention about Beyond Boundaries is it, one of the boundaries that, that we're trying to uh, re-examine, so to speak, is the boundary of the classroom, the idea that traditional learning just happens in the classroom. And of course that's not true, but Beyond Boundaries is trying to be very creative about looking for other ways to allow students to learn. Experiential learning is a broad term for that. And I think what happens here is exactly that. Right? We've had students here for decades, graduate students, many undergraduates as well, that work in our labs and get phenomenal experiential learning opportunities. Right? And so I think the institutes in general and BI in particular can really be a leader in providing those sorts of experiential opportunities and look forward to seeing how that plays out. And I have to say welcome to the Institute. Well, We're thank really... you very much. Yeah, I want to say that I have felt very welcome. Good. Uh, it, it, when, when you talk to people, I think they're glad to, to share their experience and the, and the potential that they see at this place. Well, thank you, Cal, for joining us. I really appreciate it. I know everyone here is really excited on the future path we're about to pave. Yeah, you're very welcome. It's been my pleasure to get to know folks at BI.